Welcome to Foundations of Being a Large Group Presenter, Part 2. You may remember that in Part 1 we talked about preparing yourself for the lesson, and today we're going to be talking about preparing the stage for a really effective large group presentation. The first thing that you need to do is you need to eliminate visual distractions. Every item on the stage should have a purpose for the lesson that you're teaching. Please don't have your class's garbage can or a chair from last week's lesson sitting around. That will only distract from what you're trying to say. Please only have props that you need for the lesson. Now, there is one little aside here, and that is, if you have a prop that you want to have hidden for a special surprise or sort of that aha moment that really gets kids' attention, that would be great. Um, but what you really want to do is to create a setting that will help to make your presentation as most effective as it can be. Now, here's another point. Don't send kids into a large, empty, dark room. You want spotlights to be on the stage and to focus on the person that's telling the story. Um, and you also want to have sort of a confined, cozy space for the children to enter into. You may want to separate or create space by marking it off with tape, or with Velcro, or with dividers. The kids may have their own carpet squares or chairs. Anything that keeps their little space defined and keeps hands from you know, bothering other people. So let's keep these three things in mind as we prepare our stage for an effective large group presentation. You're going to eliminate visual distractions, you're going to create a defined space for kids to sit in, and you're also going to have some spotlights that focus on the person that's telling the Bible story. And that's your latest tip for helping raise kids in Christ.